Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's News Roundup. The Canadian housing crisis has reached a boiling point with skyrocketing prices and a severe shortage of affordable homes. Many Canadians are struggling to find reasonable housing options, and the dream of home ownership seems increasingly out of reach. This situation has prompted widespread concern and criticism of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's handling of the crisis. But before we dive deeper into the details, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and updates on important issues. Also, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our Conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. Critics argue that Trudeau's policies have exacerbated the housing crisis rather than alleviating it. They claim that his administration's approach has led to increased prices and decreased availability of affordable homes. One of the main criticisms is the alleged favoritism towards large developers, which some believe has created an environment where profits are prioritized over people's needs. Pierre Polyav, a prominent political figure, has been vocal in his criticism of Trudeau's housing policies. He accuses the prime minister of mishandling the situation and failing to address the root causes of the crisis. Polyav has promised to expose the truth behind what he calls a housing signal vowing to bring transparency and accountability to the forefront. He argues that Trudeau's policies have not only failed but have also contributed to the deepening crisis. Because of the incompetence of this Prime Minister and Liberal City Hall in Toronto, rent there has more than doubled over the last nine years. What's worse is that the Prime Minister's so-called Housing Accelerator Fund has given a half billion dollars to Toronto, and only months later, the politicians in that city hiked up wow. home building taxes by 20%. Wow. The Canadian housing market has been a point of contention for several years, with many citizens finding it increasingly difficult to afford homes. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's policies have been a focal point of criticism. One of the key issues is the lack of affordability which has become a growing concern for Canadians from all walks of life. Trudeau's administration introduced several measures aimed at making housing more accessible. However, these policies have not alleviated the core issues. Instead, they seem to have exacerbated the problem. For instance, the first-time home buyer incentive was intended to help new buyers enter the market. Critics argue that it has had minimal impact on affordability while potentially inflating prices further by increasing demand without a corresponding increase in supply, Another major criticism of Trudeau's housing policies is the alleged favoritism towards large developers. Many believe that his administration has been overly accommodating to developers, allowing them to undertake massive projects without sufficient oversight or community input. This approach has led to the construction of high-end properties that do little to address the needs of average Canadians looking for afford affordable housing options. Critics like Polyev argue that this favoritism has resulted in a housing market skewed towards the wealthy leaving middle and lower-income families struggling to find affordable homes. The lack of stringent regulations and transparency has only fueled these allegations, calling into question the true beneficiaries of Trudeau's housing policies. Now, 30% of all home building costs is government taxes alone. Why does the Prime Minister keep sending our money to build bureaucracies that block homes? One of the most glaring gaps in Trudeau's housing strategy is the insufficient support for first-time home buyers. While programs like the first-time homebuyer incentive were rolled out, they have not been effective in making a significant dent in the affordability crisis. The stringent eligibility criteria and the limited financial assistance offered have left many first-time buyers feeling excluded from the market. This perceived neglect has resulted in mounting frustration among young Canadians who feel that the dream of owning a home is slipping further away. The policies in place have not adequately addressed the root causes of the housing crisis, such as limited supply and escalating costs, leading to widespread discontent. But what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this important conversation going. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau, leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. The culmination of these policy flaws has had a detrimental effect on housing affordability in Canada. Home prices have continued to soar, making it increasingly difficult for the average Canadian to enter the housing market. The focus on high-end developments, coupled with insufficient support for first-time buyers, has created a scenario where affordable housing is scarce. Additionally, the lack of effective measures to curb speculation and foreign investment has contributed to driving up prices.
These factors combined have left many Canadians priced out of the market, fueling a sense of injustice and dissatisfaction with the current administration's handling of the housing crisis. Here we see the Conservative leader's hypocrisy on full display. Let's talk about their housing proposal, which the Conservative leader has been delaying debate on for months because he knows it's not ambitious enough. His proposal won't build homes fast enough, doesn't reach enough cities, and creates unnecessary bureaucracy. The Conservative leader would also rip up the 179 housing accelerator agreements and put the GST back on apartment construction. His clear lack of ambition on housing is partly how we ended up here in the first place. Here, here. Pierre Polyev has been vocal about the need for a comprehensive overhaul of Canada's housing policies. In stark contrast to Trudeau's approach, Polyev's proposed solutions focus on increasing supply and making housing more affordable for Canadians. Polyev's strategy involves several key elements designed to address the root causes of the housing crisis. One of the main pillars of Polyev's plan is to significantly boost the supply of homes. He proposes working closely with provincial and municipal governments to expedite zoning and approval processes. Streamlining these bureaucratic hurdles aims to enable quicker development of new housing projects. To ensure that new housing developments include affordable options, Polyev suggests incentivizing developers through tax breaks and subsidies. This approach seeks to balance market dynamics while ensuring that lower-income families have access to affordable housing units. Polyev plans to introduce policies specifically aimed at assisting first-time home buyers. These measures could include grants or low-interest loans to help young families and individuals enter the housing market without being overburdened by debt. This contrasts sharply with the current environment, which many argue favors repeat buyers and investors. Another crucial aspect of Polyev's plan is to promote responsible lending practices. He advocates for tighter regulations on mortgage lending to prevent risky loans that could lead to another financial crisis. By focusing on sustainable lending, Polyev aims to stabilize the housing market in the long term. Polyev's alternative housing plan offers a stark contrast to Trudeau's policies, aiming to increase supply, promote affordability, and support first-time buyers. While challenges remain, Polyev's approach provides a detailed roadmap for addressing the housing crisis that continues to affect countless Canadians. That's all for today. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it informative. Your engagement helps us continue creating content that explores important issues facing Canada today. For more updates, visit scoopcanada.com.